this guy knows what he's talking about. And like I mentioned, the 27th largest roofing company in America and generated more than 120 million in projects for clients just in the last 12 months. So this guy clearly knows what he's talking about. That's a lot of money, a lot of clients. So without further ado, Lee Haight. Hey, great intro, bro. Hey guys, welcome to the Recruiting Funnel Revealed. Who, who wants more recruits? Like, who gets paid based off of recruiting in this room? Like, who seriously is going to make twice as much if they can recruit twice as many recruits? Okay, good. You're in the right place. I want to say thank you for the introduction. Um, recruiting events are going to be a part of my speech, so I don't know if Sam planned that, but it's definitely uh, a crucial part of uh, the world we live in today. Combining the door-to-door -door and digital. Combining the digital with the real-life event. Look at this event. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this all these people, all these different industries? What do you think you could define this as? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? This event? This event. Yeah, let's just describe it in one word. Movement. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm looking for that word. Who in here wants to create a movement like this? I mean, that's not loud enough. Who wants to create a movement? All right, all right, that's all we're gonna cover. All right, so, um, what I'm gonna cover is how to use video, social media, and a, a marketing system to follow up on your recruits till their buy or die, to build awareness about your brand. See, I closed Grant Cardone and he told me, if people don't know me, they won't flow me. Who believes that? Who believes that? All right, so first of all, I got addicted to the door-to-door -door sport at a young age. At the age of 14, I made my first sell. And um, I had a unique perspective because I, I got to see people really kicking ass in my, in my business. And you know, I tell you, ironically, there's a lot of competitors and we heard our last speaker talk about trust and when my trust has been broken from time to time, I've gotten bitter and resentful at my competition. And that is actually one of the things that makes you hate your job, it makes you feel burnt out. And about four and a half years ago, I started focusing on helping my competition. And I started focusing on this mentality of collaborate to dominate. And so I founded a university, the first online university for roofing sales people. Um, my desire was to build a company that was as big as my uncle's. He had a $90 million a year company. And you know, I wanted to you know, build this great entity, a company like Legacy. I'd seen that in my family and I, and I wanted something like that for myself. And I will tell you that I'm just a regular guy. I'm not the super disciplined, super focused, follow up, work 90 hours a week type recruiter. I mean, there's a lot of good recruiters in here. And if I was to survey everybody their methods, you might say, go grab 20 of your friends. You might say, invite them to a pizza party. You might say, run some ads on ZipRecruiter, Indeed, and cold call till your knuckles bleed. And we will just focus on recruiting and recruit or die. And I will say that's how I recruited my entire life. I went through friends and family, and the wall that I experienced was whenever I would recruit, they would move on, I didn't know where to turn. I'd recruited all my friends and family into the business and it's like I'd went through my entire network. And so a long time ago when we were in a recession, all you had to do was just post ads and people would come to work. And so basically my best friends started their own business. Tons of people stabbed me in the back. I've been let down many a times. There's been times I scaled my company so fast that in growth I wasn't able to compensate myself as well as I thought I should have been. I felt like a failure many times. My disorganization, my ADD, I'm literally just a normal guy. But somehow, some way, I started to do something different that no one else is really talking about. And it's about building a brand, it's about creating content, it's about getting comfortable on video, it's about telling your story, and it's about getting the story of your salespeople out to the world. And I believe if, if you're a recruiter, it is your duty to build awareness. And if you truly believe that if people don't know you, that they won't flow you, then please pay attention to this message. My uncle passed away and that really inspired me. You know, it was a tragic event. I don't even want to go into the details. It was very sad. And he, um, he told me when he, before he died that if I wanted to grow my company, I only needed more people. I needed to turn the good people into leaders and I needed to get rid of the bad ones. And I had this epiphany. I had this idea that I would close Grant Cardone, that I would hire a bunch of car salespeople. They would respect the fact that I did Grant Cardone's roof and they would all join me in this roofing industry. United, I'd have all these 10 Xers. I'd be selling roofs with 10 Xers. It was like this idea. And, you know, I reached out to Grant. 
I, uh, I got sold on some training. He sold me on a $9,000 a month program. And I believe that you only pay attention to what you pay for. I believe that if you haven't invested into your own personal development, it's the best investment you can make. And you know, the truth is, is that I've spent, I currently spend about $12,000 a month on personal development. And I think that that is the single biggest and best investment I've ever made. You know, both make me more money, save me more time, give me a better quality of life with my family. And so my goal is to build a multi-billion dollar uh, roofing network. And I believe every solar company should have a roofing company. Every roofing company should have a solar division. And I believe that I can teach door-to-door -door people how to use content to recruit so that they can save time and make more money. Y'all wanna hear about this? Yeah. All right. So like I said, you need more people. This is one of my companies. We grew this company 600% in the first year. He only had two guys. He's got close to 30 people. Um, Jeremy, he's a, he's a leader within Tyler. Tyler's one of my best uh, clients and cli Tyler was able to grow his business from 12 million to over 20 million and Jeremy's one of his leaders and he's groomed him. And I will say, if you wanna talk about how to build a great company, you turn the salespeople that are good into recruiters just like he did. And uh, you gotta be willing to get rid of the bad ones to protect your core values. And Legacy Power of Man, he said something that was really, really cool. He said, like your core values need to be posted. You need to hire and fire based off your core values. I didn't used to follow this principle. When you walk into my office, you see, we're fearless, we're excellent, we move with speed, we have integrity, we are innovative, and we focus on personal development. And there's an explanation right next to it. The point is, is that we try and tie every single meeting, every single uh, hiring, every opportunity to speak about core values into what we do. And I will tell you, that what we've done over the last four years has grown my company 500%, has done $100 million in business for my clients. I've automated the recruiting business for myself and, and for guys like Tyler in the back room. We've trained over 2,200 students and I grew my family business, it's been great. But more importantly, my roofing company, my, my bread and butter, while I was out here helping my industry, you'd think, Lee, why were you taking time away from your own business to help your industry? And it was to build positioning as an expert. It was so that people, if they ever thought about roofing sales or growth in roofing, they would associate the name Lee Hate. And I didn't want anyone in the world not to associate that. So I went on this path, this path that's not easy, that you're gonna get a lot of haters with, that is very, very tough. And I don't know if you've ever put content on the internet and people have you know, said things about you, but I can tell you, you know, um, I have. And you need more haters. Grant says that all the time, I truly believe it. If you can get 50% of America to hate you, you can become president. <laughs> so here's the problem, guys. Y'all wanna know what the problem is? The problem is everybody's like, hey, you wanna come away from me? Hey, I got the best commission structure. Hey, you wanna come away from me? I got this awesome plan. I got this awesome trip. I got this awesome deal. Solar, roofing, pest control. Come on, come on, come on. You know, that's a clipboard salesperson, and what we have to do is we have to move towards um, marketing. And there's some different phases of the marketing. At the first, you build awareness. They have to know about your opportunity. Then they have to consider it. Then you have to truly build out interest, and you really start to acquire when you can get them to reach out and say, I wanna join your organization. Then you have to find the right people, then you hire them. And this is the difference of recruiting versus recruitment marketing. So we're gonna go into how you can be a better recruiting marketer. Because I truly believe if you can learn how to be a better marketer, you can have true freedom. Who in here thinks Legacy Power is a good marketer? Okay, well, I've seen their landing pages, I've seen their messages they put out on social media, they have great marketing. The point I'm making is, is that, you know, Tyler, he was able to get 150 people come through his door. And um, Tyler, stand up in the back of the room there. Thank you very much, buddy. What do you, what do you think the biggest, 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 uh, benefit of those, those leads coming in off of Facebook is? Leads and recruits. The recruits. I mean, it almost doubled my business last year, man. It from 13 million to 20 million. But you recruited using like resumes and cold calling before. What's the closing percentage of my leads versus those? Oh man, I mean, you close the phone, half the good leads. Okay. Uh, before that, man, maybe 5%, 10%. And the 5% is the cold the cold calling of the resumes, the 5% is the wasted time. That's where everyone stops. That's where you don't get the momentum. And you say, well, I wanna build a team based off of other successful people that are in the team. So you give comp plan and incentive to your sales guys, but organically, how many people can they talk to? Okay, 
I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna talk to you about a concept called digital duplication. And I'm gonna help you become not a digital clipboard salesman, but a recruiting marketer, okay? And I could get into the technicality, but the way Facebook works, you don't need an email list anymore. All you need is creative content that is capturing people's attention, and now you can retarget them based on their level of engagement. This sounds like uh, Chinese, Japanese, I know it's not door-to-door, -door, but this has, I'm just a door-to-door -door guy. All I did was sell door-to-door -door for the last 10 years before five years, and I could tell you, I didn't know anything about marketing, I didn't know anything about running ads, but I felt like I had a mission. And creating video content and telling my story was the most important thing. So if I was an owner, I would create my lifestyle video of me speaking to my sales team, of me installing large solar projects, of me going on my company trip, talking about my core values, talking about my family, talking about my why. And I put this video in front of new recruits and this video doesn't even talk about hiring. It doesn't even talk about my, my company. It talks about who I am, what my core values are, what we represent, and a little bit of curiosity of how much money you can make in roofing. And essentially what it does is gets people attention, it sets the authority tone, and now I get to retarget this content with more content. So I don't know how many of you are able to tell your story so people will listen, but I dropped out of college and I worked at a, a car wash. I was scrubbing the wheels of a car wash while the people that graduated high school, they looked at me and I'm only a year after graduating high school and I feel like a complete failure. That's where I started, okay? And I built an organization with a group of people through a lot of hard work, through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And my biggest passion has been generating leads and collaborating with my industry I have been able to you know, come up with lots of different new things that nobody else was able to do. And the idea that you'd close Grant Cardone, you'd create an online university for the roofing business. You know, This is an ability for me to get my face in front of more people. And I wanna tell you, instead of focusing on, hey, come to work for me, you should be focusing on, hey, let me teach you how to be an entrepreneur. Let me teach you how to sell. Let me teach you how to negotiate. Let me teach you a little bit about real estate. And when you get people's attention through helping them in growth, now you get the respect and you get the ability to talk to them about coming to work for you. And so essentially, my recruiting system is about helping you tell your story. I'm, I have a studio and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about how I help people tell their story. But Russell Brunson, he, anybody here know Russell Brunson? Does anybody know Russell Brunson? Okay, I'm a member of uh, Russell Brunson's inner circle and Russell, he's taught me how to uh, apply the, the marketing principles that built a company worth a billion dollars to the roofing industry. And so, you know, I walk people through how to tell their back backstory, you know, and, and, and the truth is, is that, you know, when this is done correctly, Tyler had a guy who told his story and it was one recruit. How, how many leads came off of that video? How many people were hired? We're good. Hired about 25 guys. What would it be worth if I could help you in every single office as a recruiter hire 25 guys you know, per month? What would that be worth? It's a lot of money, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take me up on that, and it's not going to be a million dollars. So this is the breadwinner of my strategy. And this is the most basic, simple thing. I've really only seen one other door-to-door -door company, and that's uh, Walid, and, and it, was, it, was, it was a recruiting funnel, and, and essentially it was just a, a testimonial sent to an application. But the whole point is, is that you interview your salespeople, you get your salespeople to overcome the customer's biggest fear, the customer being the new recruit. Hey, I was scared about going into the door-to-door -door business. I thought it was a dirty profession. I thought I'd face rejection and hate my job, but I found out that the time and the lifestyle and the ability to make the large commissions from the roofs, I mean, from the door-to-door -door sales was amazing. And the community and culture within the company was amazing. And I learned how to be a leader for my boss. It was amazing. And I made in the first six months, $50,000. And if you're considering working with a door-to-door -door company, stop what you're doing right now. Click your information below so that we can reach out to you to see if you could be a good fit, a part of this movement. And the reason why Tyler's guy had such an impactful story that got 1,000 leads that he closed close to a very large percent of 
it has to do with the fact that he talked about knowing Tyler for a long time. So I know Tyler, I had a $65,000 a year job. I was a diesel mechanic and I worked hard for my money. I went to school to be a diesel mechanic. He goes into the details. He said, I was afraid. I was afraid of quitting my $65,000 a year job. I was afraid of what I would lose. I went to school to be a diesel mechanic. I loved it. And I just saw my friend Tyler making all this money. He's making multiple six figures. He's getting into the millions. And after eight years, I finally collapsed. He was asking me to become a roofer, asking me to become a roofer. And in my first eight months, I sold $800,000 and made $150,000 cash. And now I bought a new house and I bought my wife the car of her dreams. And I want to tell my buddy th Tyler, thank you so much. And, and, and literally this video testimonial, you could feel the sincerity. You could feel the heartfelt, the connection of how these guys knew each other. And you know what? That is available for you to share through video content if you're getting willing to, to use this video to your advantage. And the, and the way that we've done this is we create these videos and then we retarget the people who consume the videos. We retarget the people with the testimonials. And anybody who's ever, who's, who ever here known about me before you came to this room? Raise your hands. Okay, now keep your hands up. How many people see me in their news feed once a week? So with me, if you consume my videos, if you go to my page, I'm going to be in your news feed till you buy or die. And that's how you need to be in your recruiting. That's how you need to be with your secrets. And you could go out there and you could show up and go across the country on a tour across America to colleges. Or you could build these videos and have these campaigns creating thousands of leads and getting these people really sold on your business opportunity and core values before they even apply. And when they apply, they check your reviews, they check your videos, they see all the information on your website, and they are like, oh, I can't wait to come work for Proclaim Roofing. I can't wait to go make those largest commissions and direct sales. God, this roofing sale, it's the easiest sale in America. Once you sell one, you get four, five, six. And man, they're sold on the opportunity. And so this is the perfect testimonial video. This is Eric Ruffing. This is Tyler's buddy. And, you know, you just like can't give back to your friend more than after, you know, you make $150,000 with him. You just make a quick little video that's three minutes and 51 seconds long that gets you a thousand recruits. So look, here's what you need to ask your people in the testimonial questions. If there's one thing you get from me, the testimonial video is the most important part of the recruiting campaign. This is the only thing that you get from this. It's the most important thing. You need to ask the people, what was the biggest fear about joining the company? What were you doing before you went door to door? What do you love most? What have you learned? What kind of results have you achieved? And what would you have to say to someone thinking about working with us? All you have to do is cut yourself out of the video, asking the questions, Realistically, people aren't on, aren't on Facebook to watch a testimonial. So you have to get people's attention. You know how much people scroll on Facebook every day? The size of the Statue of Liberty. People look at a post for 1.8 seconds. Are you sick and tired of hard work? Are you sick and tired of hard work, mediocre pay? Sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Do you hate your boss? Are you sitting, sick and tired of, a, of an hourly wage? Well, look, my name's Lee Haight. And if you're watching this right now, we're hiring in your area and we want to teach you about the most lucrative blue collar sales opportunity in America. We sell roofs paid for by the insurance company for the largest commissions and direct sales. And we have a movement that you want to be a part of. Don't just take it from me, take it from some of my reps. See that gets their attention. Then you throw in the testimonials and then at the end you hit the call to action. Hey, look, you heard from some of my reps what it's like to work with my company. Look, you may not be sure about coming to work with me, but Click the link below and I'll give you some free training. I want to give you training to teach you the sales, give you more about the business opportunity. And if you click the link below, I'll give you access to free training. We'll reach out to you about a, prop, uh, about a possible position and we'll see if you're a good fit for our organization. And that, my friend, is recruiting marketing. No, no cold calling, not no shoulder tapping college kids. This is a different way. If you, if you rise above it, you talk about working, working smart and not working hard, pay attention. This right here is Tyler's landing page. Everybody makes a big deal about the funnel. But what's more important is the hook, the story, and the offer. The hook is what gets people's attention. Are you sick and tired of hard work and mediocre pay? Okay, 76% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So that's a hook. The story is, my name's Eric. I used to make 65,000 a year. 
Now I make 200 plus. I have time, money, freedom, and I love the company that I work for. The offer, I'm gonna give you free training. I'm gonna mentor you. I'm gonna give you the opportunity for advancement. Click the link below. You gotta educate. First of all, you gotta entertain. Second of all, you gotta educate. Third of all, you gotta execute on every single one of your Facebook ads. That comes from Billy Jean, it's not from myself, but it's a very good three, three E's to success. But when they go from the Facebook ad and they go to the landing page, Tyler talks to him about, are you ready to change your life? He talks to him about his business opportunity, he talks to him about who he is, and he sells that recruiting lead on coming to work for him before they ever get on the phone. So this is where you come in right here, buddy, uh, Mr. Event Guy. Check it out. We create a live event inside of Facebook. We create a video. We show our trips to Panama. We show our scavenger hunts. What the hell is this? It's, an, it's a movement. Y'all said you wanted a movement, okay? Don't be afraid to, to invite people to your movement and to broadcast your movement. And see, this, this Facebook platform, it allows us to put a video in the cover photo to have all of your sales recruits invite people that are in their social network. So you're sitting in a sales meeting, there's 20 guys, and you say, hey, go through your phone and invite every single person on your Facebook that seems to be a legitimate candidate. Whoever invites the most people to my hiring event is gonna get a $500 bonus, and what the heck, we'll send you skiing. The whole point is, you can advertise and boost the cover photo, you, every time somebody says they're going to your event, their friends are notified. Comments, different information can be posted, paid advertising. It's beautiful. You know what? No one else is teaching this. This whole freaking event. What's the deal? Y'all want to put more ads out? You want to hold more shoulder tap in college trips? I mean, this is 2020. Second, the next step would be to create your video for your hiring event. When you create your video for a hiring event, when they, when they come to, 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 to see what this is, they say, hey, look, we're Proclaim Roofing and we are the fastest growing company in Dallas-Fort Worth and we're holding a free lunch and learn to teach you more about the most lucrative sales opportunity in America. And by the way, don't just take it from me, take it from some of my reps. Throwing the testimonials in there really closes the deal. Now this is where I really sell them. That right there is my man Troy. Troy's 20 years old, he's holding a $48,000 check. It says, discover the blue collar job where this 20 year old more than a doctor in his first year without a college degree. They go to this landing page and they get sold on a presentation that breaks down their false beliefs about becoming a roofer. You know why people don't wanna be a roofer? Because they're ashamed of being a roofer. They think they're gonna hammer the nails just like they're afraid to knock on a door or go to college and sell alarms. There's a stigma associated with door-to-door, -door. the same stigma is associated with contracting. It's like we're below a doctor and a lawyer, and I'm here to raise the status of our industry. 